10 out of 10, one Central Florida school district apologizing after some students had their eyeballs scanned as part of a pilot security program. Fox 35's Tracy Jason just got back from Polk County. She's got all the details on that. Tracy? Well, that's right, Bob. The school district meant to send this letter out before testing out the new security program, which, by the way, is sort of sci-fi, high-tech, modern, but the ball was dropped. The district got some pretty colorful phone calls, they tell me, from angry parents, but it's not because parents don't like the idea. They just don't like being kept in the dark. The letter gave them an opportunity to say, hey, I don't want my child to participate. Um, so when I realized that the letter had not been received by parents, uh, we automatically said, hey, we got a problem here and we need, we need to stop this. And the student safety pilot program has been in limbo since. That was May 23rd, the same day these iSwipe nano cameras, shown here on the Stanley Convergence Security Solutions website, had already scanned the eyes and irises of students getting on and off school buses here at the Davenport School of Arts. And the day after those same high tech cameras scan the irises of bus riders at Bethune Academy and Daniel Jenkins Academy, also in Polk County. Your parent had contacted the principal. Right. And right. was like, whoa, what's going on? Correct. And then you realized you checked with your assistant or, or whoever and someone dropped the ball. Right. Which I think you're being a polite gentleman and you don't want to get into. Yeah, I, I'm, I'll take full responsibility for it. Davis then sent the initial letter out to show parents it did exist and then followed up with this apology letter two days ago. But he still hopes the technology can one day be used, and so does one parent we spoke to. That if children get off the wrong bus and everything, or the wrong stop, it would be it'd be great for them to uh, be able to know where they got off. The way it would work? When your child gets on the bus, the camera would scan his or her irises, and then a number would be assigned to that student and that student's info, allowing the district to actually track the student's movements on and off buses. In seconds, we could tell them, yes, they got on 0750, they got it on the bus at the high school school at 2.05. They arrived at their bus stop at um, 2.45. All right, now Davis couldn't tell me if the district will use the program down the road, but he could tell me the only information that would be connected to the student's iris number would be their name, ID number, bus uh, number, and eventually parents' contact info. He also told me because of the mishap, Stanley's Convergence Security Solutions assured the district it destroyed all info it received from those iris scans done without parents' permission. In the studio, Tracy Jason, Fox 35 News.